Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. A 646 on your Thursday morning now. Welcome back. Okay, well, as some of us are waking up, a uh, little rain or snow, I don't know what to call it, Amber. Yeah, well, it's a little bit of both on the radar, but it's falling to the ground in many cases mm -hmm. as rain. Now, some of my sensors have got one in Stanley that's shown a bit of a mix and some snowflakes, but the reports I've been getting from actual viewers, ground truth, which is the best, I've been getting mostly rain. So let's kind of dive in here and you can see what looks like heavy uh, snow and that's based on my key there because I've got my enhanced radar turned on. This is actually the radar showing a changeover. So this is showing uh, the radar seeing this is a, a mix of rain and snow. Basically it goes out, it sends these waves and it says, okay, that is a raindrop, that is snow and this, well, we're not really sure. That's kind of in the middle there. So that's why this is having an issue uh, trying to pick up what it is, but it's hitting the ground as rain. I've got rain reports out of Portal, out of uh, Bow Bells, Kenmare as well. And so you head down to the southern part of this uh, this moisture here, all rain there through Kenmare, heading towards Beulah. This is very light rain as well, and you can see why we're getting a mix. 34 in Stanley, 37 in Dickinson, 36 in Garrison, but this line is pushing into cooler air, so it will change into some snow. I think we can see a little bit of light snow accumulation up towards the uh, northeast into the Turtle Mountains, into the Botno area by later on this morning. Wind speeds to go along with this have been breezy, 15 to 20 sustained, and the gusts have been certainly uh, gusty as well, 30 miles per hour up to 35 at times. And so right now we're averaging about 20 and 30. We're going to keep these wind gusts into uh, at least the middle of the afternoon. I see them uh, tapering by later on this afternoon into the early evening hours. Precipitation ends this afternoon as well. We're looking at uh, more than likely a decrease in cloud cover. So we'll get a chance at some sunshine today. And so we also have some warmer temperatures on the way. This is the start of our warming trend as we head into the next several days here. For the forecast is calling for, again, this mix. What you're going to see on the radar is a mix. A lot of it's going to fall to the ground as rain. And as we head towards the latter part of the morning here, we're going to get some warming. So most of this will fall as rain as the temperatures do warm back to the upper 30s to around 40. But the areas we'll watch will be up towards the northeast. The Turtle Mountains, you could see a little bit of a light snow accumulation, but it doesn't stand a chance because, of course, those temperatures are so warm today. Uh, tomorrow we get a break from the snow. We get a break from the wind. We've got a quiet Friday and some high clouds that might allow for some filtered sunshine. So a nice uh, ending to the work week. Here's that snow forecast I was telling you about. Trace to maybe up to an inch, but when you have temperatures about 50 degrees today, that snow won't stick around. Don't even pull out the snow shovel. 50s and 60s for today. Very warm, and we get even warmer in the coming days. Here's the Dickinson three-day forecast. Back to the 60s and overnight lows for many of us won't even drop to below freezing. We've got a great shot at some rain on Saturday as well. So if you've got outdoor plans, I would maybe have a plan B, maybe move it to Sunday. Sunday looking a little better for some outdoor plans, but uh, Willison, here's your three-day forecast. 60s over the next few days and even around 60 on Saturday. Now, we do have that chance for rain on Saturday, Saturday night. It looks to be clearing out of here by Sunday morning, and that will give us a breezy and, and warm day back to the 60s. And then next week, it looks like we'll start off a little warmer than we started off this week. More than likely, wind will be in the forecast. Here's the Bismarck 7-day. You can see the average high 51, and we're going to be above that for pretty much this entire seven day. So move your plans from Saturday unless you want to stand outside with an umbrella for a while. Yeah, and some folks may want that. Yeah, sounds kind of nice. They in might want to get the galoshes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, Amber. When we come back on Good Day Dakota, we'll bring you your top stories. Plus, we'll give you the latest information on the mandate.